Hey, how's it going? Brian from Film Direct here. Uh, this is the second part of a tutorial I wanted to do on doing color separations in Photoshop. Um, in the previous video, I showed you how to do a basic three color spot color separation in Photoshop. So um, today, I want to show you how to take this um, take this file into Illustrator, place it in Illustrator, and shoot the separations out of Illustrator. If you wanted to add some vector text to this image, um, it's a little more it's a little more in depth. Um, a lot of for a lot of screen printers, this is about as far as you're going to need to take it. Um, but if you wanted to trick out the file just a little bit more, I'm gonna I'm gonna show you how to do that. So you've got your you got your file here. And you got it. You've got it separated into three, three colors. You got your blue, gold, and underbase. This is going to go on some red T-shirts. So, um, first thing you want to do is we need to um, just get rid of the RGB channels. You're not going to need them anymore. So we'll just go ahead and delete those. Second thing you want to do is convert these to spot colors. I'm gonna actually um, just for just so we can kind of see the colors. I'm gonna I'm gonna make the channels the, the specific colors of the artwork, but I'm just gonna pull some random colors. So at least we can kind of see what's going on. Should probably name them too. We got a base gold. There we go. We have our three, three spot colors now. What we're gonna do? We're gonna save this as a DCS2 file. So you're gonna go to File, Save As, Photoshop DCS2. It's in the drop-down menu. Um, click Spot Colors, and um, go ahead and name the file. Hit Save. It's gonna bring up another dialog box. You're gonna want to choose under Preview TIFF 8-bit um, DCS. Just leave it as a default setting. And encoding, leave it as the default kit setting ASC to 85. And then click on the halftone screen. Hit OK. That, that's going to go ahead and save the file. So now you're going to open up Illustrator and create a new print document. 13 by 18 is a pretty common paper size, so we'll leave it right there. So we're going to go ahead, now that we've got our Illustrator document opened up, we're going to, we're going to place the file that we just created in, uh, in Photoshop into Illustrator. So you go to File Place, leave the link option checked, and go ahead and place the image. It's going to look a little pixelated and a little weird, but it's just the way the DCS files preview and um, the way they preview in Illustrator. So from this point, we can actually add some text. If you need, to, if you wanted to add some text to this, add some vector text so it's nice and clean and crisp. Um, we'll just do, for example, uh, Roxana, Roxana Baseball Rocks. Let's say we wanted to add some text in there. It's going to go on a red shirt, and we'll just do it in black ink. So we won't need to underbase that. Uh, maybe, maybe do a fancier font. Something like that. So there we go. We need to create, a, create this as a spot color so that we can output it correctly. So I've got my Pantone. Um, Pantone palette open here, so we'll just we'll just name it that Pantone Black C. So now it's it's pretty much ready to, to output. We've got our three spot colors that we did in Photoshop, and then we've got our one spot color that we did in Illustrator. It's going to be a vector text. Um, I like to add I like to add all my um, registration marks in Illustrator. I've created these little symbols um, that you can drop and drag right into um, right to your file and um, they'll show up on every every plate. If you copy and place the thing and then hold shift it'll it'll keep it parallel to the to the other one or perpendicular or whatever. So there you go. Now you got your file with your vector text. You got your registration marks. And then we're going to go ahead and name we're going to name um, each color so that it'll show up on the film so it'll be easier for the printers when they get it on press. So we got our base gold
So you need to name the, the spot colors so they show up on each so they show up on each plate. All right, now this thing's ready for output. Um, what I like to do is preview these separations before um, before they go to press or before they go to the printer. So um, a good a good way to do that is to um, preview them in Adobe um, Acrobat. And the, the easy way to do that is bring up your print dialog box and then go to Adobe PDF 8.0 and um, set up your paper size, hit output, turn off, just go to separations host based and that will give you your four spot color separation and when you hit print it's going to print to your desktop instead of a printer. Now that it's printed to your desktop you can go ahead and preview preview the file in Adobe or Adobe Acrobat. It's a really handy tool. So there's our base. Oops. There's our under base. There's our, where's our blue channel go. There's our blue channel, gold, and then our black. This is a black we just did in, in um, Illustrator. So there you go. Now that the files look like they're ready to go, they look really clean. And you can actually go ahead and print right out of Adobe Illustrator your four plates, or you could go back and do the same print out of um, out of Illustrator doesn't doesn't really matter at this point. If you were going to print, so let's say you're going to print your accurate program, you can just um, just set up your printer and then hit print, and it'll it'll go ahead and print to print to your rip. So that's about it for the the second um, second video. Thanks for watching.